Has the Mail app stopped working? Or are you having issues with Mail after the macOS Tahoe update? Here are possible solutions to fix this issue. <clears throat> the first basic solution is to force quit the Mail app. If your Mail app is frozen or unresponsive, and you can't close it by clicking the red cross button, follow the steps. First, click on the Apple menu in the top left corner. Then, click on the Force Quit option. Select the apps you want to close and hit the Force Quit button. Confirm your action to proceed. Alternatively, you can use keyboard shortcuts or Activity Monitor to force close the Mail app. If you don't see the message content in the Mail app, or it takes too much time to load, follow the next solutions. The second solution is to turn off or disable VPN, fix the connection, and the privacy problem. When you turn on VPN, you may not receive or send emails, so we need to disconnect the VPN. As you can see on my Mac, the VPN is active, and the VPN icon is displayed next to the Wi-Fi icon. So, click on it and disconnect the VPN. Also, I recommend you to remove VPN configuration. Stop your device from auto-connecting to VPN network. For that, go to Apple menu, click on System Settings, select VPN, and click on Info button next to VPN name. At last, click on Remove Configuration and Confirm Remove option. The VPN configuration is removed successfully. Now, force quit the VPN app from the dock to completely close the VPN app. <clears throat> now, the third solution is to restart the Mac to clear temporary glitches and refresh the system resources. It can also potentially resolve application and connectivity problems. Click on the Apple menu at the top and select the Restart option. Uncheck the checkbox next to Reopen Windows when logging back in and click the Restart button to confirm. Wait for the restart process and check whether the Mail app is working. The fourth solution is to check internet connection, fix internet connection issues. Make sure your Mac has an active internet connection for email retrieval. Click on the Wi-Fi icon at the top and check if it is connected to a secure Wi-Fi network. The Mail app won't sync or fetch new emails if your connection is weak or slow. If you face an outage problem, contact your internet provider for further information. <clears throat> The fifth solution is to refresh the Mail app, fix delays and syncing problems. If you have added only an iCloud account but are not getting new emails, launch the Mail app and click the Mailbox option. Then select the Synchronize iCloud option. The sixth solution is to check and enter the correct password and fix email account synchronization. If your Mail app asks for the login keychain password, you should enter your Mac user account password. It sets up by default when you create an account. The seventh solution is to enable your Mail accounts, fix common glitches and errors. Launch the Mail app, click on the Mail menu at the top, and select the Settings option. Then click on the Accounts tab and select your account. Afterward, if your account is disabled, check the checkbox next to Enable this account. The eighth solution is to check Mail activity, check message downloading or sending, connection status, and more. In some cases, the Mail app stopped working or stuck because of downloading large attachments in background, so we need to check Mail Activity. To do so, launch the Mail app and click on the Window menu at the top, then click on Activity. As you can see, a new pop-up window shows an overview of Mail operations, which is message downloading. That means the Mail app is slow or taking time to receive new mail because of large file size. The ninth solution is to turn off the firewall or security software. So, what's as good why as IAM work for checking interference with email? If the Mail app shows an error connecting to the email server or not updating, turn off the firewall and security software for some time. Firewalls may mistakenly block the Mail app from accessing the network connections. Go to the Apple menu in the top left corner, click on System Settings, then click on Network and go to the Firewall section. The active firewall prevents unauthorized applications, programs, and services from accepting incoming connections. Turning off these security features helps troubleshoot the mail app connectivity problem. Now follow the same steps to open the firewall settings and re-enable it. The tenth solution is to check email quotas. To check how much of email store on your mail servers, maximum size of messages, and more. In some cases, the email provider may limit the space to store the emails. You might see the message like, you have reached that limit. Let's see how to check how much email quota is used and how much is remaining. Launch the mailbox and right-click on Inbox option at left side panel. Then click on Get Account Information option. Select your account type and wait for some moment until your device checks for all mailboxes stored by your mail provider. 
Now, you can check how much space they are using. If the space not available, you need to free up storage space by deleting messages. In my case, the email quota is available, so I don't need to delete that mail messages. The 11th solution is to enable spotlight search settings. Fix misconfigured spotlight settings, which may cause an indexing problem in the mail app. So let's see the steps. Go to the Apple menu in the top left corner, click on System Settings, then click on Spotlight, and turn on the toggle next to Mail. That's it! The 12th solution is to check and update the latest Mac OS to improve app functionality. Press the Command and Space keys to open Spotlight Search, type System Settings. Now, in the General section, click on Software Update. Hit the Check for Update button and wait for your device to check for updates. If an update is available, click on the Download and Install button. If your Mac is up to date, skip this step. The 13th solution is to check Apple servers, fix and resolve the outage, and update the problem. Launch the Safari browser from the dock and visit the Apple System Status page. Find iCloud Mail. As you can see, the green globe is next to Cloud Mail and a message is written as Resolved Issues. Apple has resolved the delay in sending the iCloud mail problem to my Mac. The 14th solution is to delete and re-add the mail account and fix account-related issues. Deleting your mail account from your Mac removes its data from mail, contacts, calendars, and notes. However, all data will be restored when you re-add your mail account. Launch the Mail app, select the Mail menu, and choose Settings. After that, select the Accounts tab. Now select your problematic mail account and click on the minus icon. Select Internet Accounts. Now select the Delete Account and confirm the OK button. Let's see how to re-add a mail account. Launch Mail and click on the Mail menu. Then click on the Add Account option. Or go to Mail Settings and select the Accounts tab. Click on the plus icon and choose the account provider. Then hit the Continue button. Now type your account sign-in details and follow the on-screen video steps. Once the account is added to your device, check if your mail app works properly. These solutions may help you fix problems with the mail app not working on your Mac computer. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Write which solution worked for you. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks videos.